Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, Honest Seller Converter Review. So the tool that I'm using right now will be uh, linked in the description, so make sure to check that out. So let's get started. So you might be wondering what is Stellar here? Is it actually good? Well, in this case, we'll be discussing exactly it is. Uh, in this case, if Stellar is actually really good. So in this case, let's go and discuss first what are OST files here. Now, in this case, these are offline storage, uh, this case, storage table files that Outlook creates when you're using accounts like Microsoft Ed Exchange or Office 365 or IMAP. They let you access all your emails, calendars, contacts, and attachments even when you're offline. So for example, if you're somewhere without internet, it can still work in Outlook and everything syncs back once you're reconnected. Now, the issue comes when something goes wrong like your profile gets deleted or the server is inaccessible, you're migrating to a new system that OST files, uh, OST file here becomes tied to its original setup and can't be opened directly elsewhere. It's kind of locked to that environment here. So that's why converting OST files to PST is such a lifesaver here. So PST files are portable and not restricted to a specific auto profile or devices here. So once your data is in PST format, you can open it up or open it on any Outlook installation, back it up safely, and or even move it to a new system or account. So it's also super useful during company migration, Outlook crashes, or system rebuilds, basically anytime you need to regain access to your mailbox data fast. Now, since you already have or you only have like an OST file here, you're looking for a way to convert that OST file into a PSD file. Well, in this case, that's where uh, Stellar actually comes in. Now, the great thing about this tool here, it allows you to convert your OST files to PSD files here without any hassle, and the UI is actually pretty uh, pretty easy to understand. So if you know how Outlook looks, it's quite similar to that. So you won't get confused or anything here. So in order to get started here is you want to go to StellarInfo.com here or just go to our description here to get to this website. Now, what you need to do is you want to go and click on free download here and it should start the download process and you should be able to download the, dot, the .exe file. Now, with the .exe file here, what we need to do is we want to run this one and basically install this into our PC. So let's just wait for it to fully download. And as you can see, we've just downloaded this. Let's go open up the exe or the, uh, in this case, setup file here. Let's go and answer yes if it requires further information. And let's go and just answer a few things here. Let's go ahead and choose the English language. Click on OK. From here, click on next. So you could go and uh, uh, basically read the license agreement here, but let's go and click on next here. And you could go and just choose the location where you want to download or install uh, the Stellar. App. Let's go and click on X here. Now from here, you could go and choose the start menu folder. Let's go and click on X. And from here, you could go and choose uh, to create a desktop shortcut. Let's go and choose an X. Now from here, let's go and click on install. And that should install Stellar into our PC. Let's go and click on finish. Let's go and answer yes here if it requires further permission. Let's go and close this one. Now, how do we start using Stellar here? Now, the thing with Stellar here is it's actually pretty easy to use. Now, if you want to click on list profiles here, this will automatically uh, basically find uh, OST files that you may want to basically convert. But if you want to choose uh, OST file here that you already have, let's go and choose choose manually. And from here, you could go and click on browse. Now, we actually have a, uh, just give you some idea here. We already have like a uh, OST file that we have right now in our, in this case, our desktop, like what I've shown you before. Let's go to our desktop here. Go to desktop. Let's go and choose our OST file here, email account. Let's go and click on open. And from here, let's go and click on convert. Now, it's going to start the conversion process here. So this might take a while. So you could just wait for this. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see right now, this is our file. Let's go and click on OK here to view it. Now, the great thing about this one is it actually keeps the structure of our account here. So if you want to view your calendars, your contacts here, you could go ahead and just select that. Let's go back into our home here and go back into our emails here. So yeah, so you could just view your inbox here if you want to, like if you want to view specific like uh, messages in here. So the great thing about Stellar is it actually looks like a or looks similar to Outlook. So again, you won't uh you won't get confused in using the app itself or the software itself. So in this case you also have other options that you could do here. Like you could load scans, save scan here, or find messages if you want to. Or if you want to save your converted file here into PST, you could go and choose the save converted file option. And in order for you to proceed with this one, you need to enter your product activation key. So let's go ahead and enter ours in here and let's go ahead and click on activate. 
and we've just activated our account or our software here. Let's go and click on OK. And from here, it's now going to ask you what format you wanted to actually save your uh, converted file here. So you could choose PST. Let's go and click on Next here. And from here, you could go and choose, with, uh, in this case, the destination path or where it's going to be actually saved. So you could go and click on Browse here and basically choose where you want to save this. But we want to keep this into our desktop just to give you some comparison here. Let's go and click on OK. Also, if you want to recover the files, you go and choose that one. If you want to auto split your PST files, you go and do that. Or if you want to access their advanced filter here, you can go and do that as well. But for now, let's go and click on next here. Let's go and click on OK. It's going to basically start converting our file. So let's just wait for this one. Now, once it's actually saved, it's going to show you the file name as you can see right now and also where it's saved. Now, again, like what I said before, we've just saved this into our desktop. Let's go and click on OK. Let's go and minimize this one. And as you can see, we now have our PSD file. So this is our PSD file and this is our original file, which in this case is the OST file here. So in this case, this is a great way or Stellar here is a great way for you to convert your OST files into PSD files. Now to use your PSD file here, you want to open up Outlook in here and you want to go to files at the top left here and you want to go choose the open and export. Now you choose the import or export option, choose the import from another program or file. Let's go and click on next. And you want to choose Outlook data file or .pst. Let's go and choose next. Now from here, what we need to do is you want to choose the uh, file. So let's go and choose browse here. Let's go to our desktop. So let's go and choose this PC. I'm just going to look for a desktop in here. So let's go and choose this one. Choose PST here. Click on open. And from here, you can go and choose the following options. So if you want to replace duplicates with items imported, allow duplicates to be created or do not import duplicates. Let's go and click on next. And from here, it's going to say select the folder to import from. So you could go and choose this one. Like you also import uh, to the current folder or items into the same folder if you want to. So let's go and click on the finish button here to basically finish our, on this case, adding our PSD file. So as you can see here now at the left side, as you can see, we now have Stellar Converter Overter for OST. Now you can go and expand this one if you want to view it. Let's go and click on dismiss. Let's go and Yes, here. So you could go and just uh, expand that if you want to. So when we go to top of Outlook data file here, you should be able to see your inbox. So in this case, these are the emails that we just got from that OSD file here. So yeah, so that's how you use it into your Outlook account, which in this case is really awesome. So this is exactly where Stellar Converter for OSD actually shines. Now, even if it's orphaned, encrypted, or corrupted and converts, it to PSD with all your emails, attachments, contacts, and calendars, and she's in tech. Now, it works with every major Outlook version. It has no size limits, which makes it perfect whether you're a regular user or managing enterprise level data. Plus, it even supports direct migration to Microsoft 365, which is a huge bonus for IT teams. Now, if you're ever stuck with a locked or inaccessible OST file here, converting it to PSD is your best move here. And Stellar makes that process incredibly simple and reliable but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video